Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J Man Time and today I have another video on a rare or forgotten cancelled Iranian stealth fighter aircraft project from the early 2000s. And this project here was once a joint project between Iran and Russia. And this project was known as the MATF or the Morg Ashura Tactical Fighter Project or program from the year 2004 to 2006. And this was a project between the Iranian Morg Ashura Technical Research College and the Russian Mikoyan Gurevich Aircraft Manufacturing Company, the same company that manufactures most of Russia's top frontline fighters like the modern day MiG-31 and MiG-35. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, the Russians had developed another project known as the Mikoyan Gurevich Project LFI. And this was a project that lasted from the 1980s until 1992. And it was a project to create a new generation of high-speed light frontline fighters for the Russian Air Force. Well, that project came to an end in 1992, and later on, the Russians and Iranians would come together to create a new project known as the MATF. And this was a project that was meant to give developing nations like Iran a chance to develop a new fourth generation fighter that could take on the likes of Western designed fourth generation fighters like the American F-15, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, the Eurofighter Typhoon, and the French Dassault Rafale, which were all fourth and 4.5 generation fighter aircraft or multi-rolled fighter aircraft that entered service in the late 80s and early to mid 1990s. In Russia, the project is known as the MiG I-2000 or the Vyets 2000 project. And this is a light tactical fighter that was designed by both the Iranians and the Russians, but it was mainly designed for the Iranian Air Force. In Iran, this project had several spin-off programs that would lead to other fighter programs for the Iranian Air Force. Now, the MATF was a proposed fourth generation light multi-role tactical stealth fighter project from 2004, 2005, 2006 technically. The main armament was to be 130mm GSH-301 autocannon or aircraft autocannon, which was a Russian-made gun. It was also designed to have both internal and external armaments, mostly air-to-air -air missiles and some air-to-ground missiles. And these were at least six to seven air-to-air -air or air-to-ground missiles of the Russian R-73, the Russian R-82, the Russian KH-25ML, and the Russian KH-31 series of air-to-air -air missiles. It was also designed to carry 500 pound bombs or smart bombs of the Russian KAB-500L and KAB-500KR series of either mounted or internally mounted dumb bombs. The speed of the aircraft was Mach 2.5 or 3087 kilometers per hour or 1918 miles per hour and the aircraft was to have a range of 25,000 kilometers. Its flight ceiling was 21,000 meters or 68,879 feet and only one mock-up or prototype was constructed. Now it is unknown if this prototype was a working prototype or if it was just a mock-up, but the mock-up was shown in the mid-2000s. The Iranians themselves also made dozens of little mock-ups and models of the plane, uh, what it was supposed to look like, between 2004, 2005, and 2006. Now this fighter here, if it had been developed, it would have given the Iranians a new fourth generation fighter that could replace the old American F-14 Tomcats or the Grumman Tomcats. And these were the American early fourth generation fighters that were delivered to the Iranians in the mid to late 1970s. Now these aircraft, these F-14s are still in service to this very day as of 2021. But if the MATF or the Morgashura tactical fighter had come online in the mid to late 2000s, then they probably would have replaced the F-14 Tomcats as the standard uh, fighter and multi-role tactical stealth aircraft in the Iranian Air Force. Now, none of this ever came into fruition. 
as in 2005, 2006, the Russians and Iranians would both cancel this project, and instead the Iranians would go on to come up with three other projects that were based on the MATF. The first project that was based on this aircraft was the Hisa Shafak. The Hisa Shafak was an experimental or at least prototype Iranian light stealth aircraft that was developed between 2003 on paper and 2008, 2009, 2010. In terms of when the prototype was completed, the prototype was later either scrapped or simply stored away and that aircraft has never been seen since 2010. In 2017, the Iranians claimed that they were still working on the Hisa Shafak, but ultimately that project still hasn't come out as of 2021. Another project that was unveiled in 2010 was the Sofra Mahi. And the Sofra Mahi was another proposed fourth or fifth generation stealth fighter and multi-role fighter that was supposed to be developed by the Iranians starting in 2010. It was unveiled alongside an experimental Iranian drone, also known as the MATF, but it's not the same MATF in this video. Now that project was last talked about in the year 2011, and later on in 2013, the Iranians would come up with another stealth aircraft, and that is the Kahir 313 which was a stealth aircraft that the Iranians were developing between 2013 and 2017 and it was supposed to rival the American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning. Now ultimately that aircraft still hasn't come out and that aircraft has a pretty shaky reputation on the internet and when it comes to aircraft historians, as many believe that the Kahir 313 is not a real stealth fighter. I myself believe that the Kahir 313 is actually just a remodeled F-5 Tiger designed to look like a stealth aircraft. And it is one of the reasons why this plane has never been seen flying. Now the Iranians did the test the um, Kahir 313, as in they gave it a ground test by driving it around you know, showing that it could at least move, maneuver on the ground, but they never showed the aircraft flying. So to me, it's clearly just an F-5. You can tell by the by the exhaust in the back, by the, the, the engines on the plane, that this is clearly an F-5, because it's way too small to be a, you know, a high performance stealth aircraft like the F-22 and F-35. And the, the main giveaway with the Kahir 313 is the tire pressure. The tire pressure on the Kahir 313 is only 50 pounds per square inch, and that is roughly almost the same as the American-made F-5, which the Iranians have been using since the 1970s. So the Kahir 313 is clearly never going to fly, and unless the Iranians were just making a, a test prototype and the real plane is coming out someday, but unless that happens, I don't think the Kahir 313 is coming out. Now, the Iranians and the Russians would ultimately cancel this MATF, or the Morgashura Tactical Fighter, around 2005-2006. And to me, that was kind of a huge mistake. Just like the, the Hisa Shafak, it seems that they were getting pretty close to developing at least a working prototype at one point. And with the Russians helping, they could have actually done that, as the Russians did have the tactical know-how when it came to developing multi-role tactical fighters and stealth fighters. But the Russians would pull out in 2006 and the main reason the Russians would pull out is because of these sanctions. Iran has been under sanctions since the 1980s and these sanctions pretty much prohibit any country from working with Iran when it comes to developing either stealth aircraft or any kind of military project. Now Russia, China and a bunch of other countries kind of broke those sanctions a couple of times over the last 20 to 25 years but for the most part these sanctions have pretty much stood and most countries have kind of avoided selling weapons or technology to Iran. But the Iranians should have just taken the opportunity to get as much knowledge and technology from the Russians as they could and they might have been able to develop at least the Hisa Shafak from this experimental or proposed MATF Morgashura tactical fighter project from the early 2000s. And that's really basically it. This aircraft here was kind of a wasted opportunity for the Iranians to gather some actual know-how when it comes to developing and producing their own potential stealth fighter aircraft, just like the American F-22 Raptor 
or the F-35 Lightning. But ultimately, this project was canceled in the mid-2000s and nothing has been heard since 2006 when it comes to the MATF, the Morg Ashura Tactical Fighter Project, also known in Russia as the MiG I-2000 and the Vyet 2000 project from the mid-2000s. So what do you all think of this forgotten and abandoned slash canceled Iranian multi-role tactical stealth fighter project from the 2000s? Please tell me in the comment section below. And until next time, this was Chayman Time signing off.